backyard gardens, play sets, uh, and they're moving to phase basically all of that out uh, in the name uh, of continued uh, safety. Meanwhile, I'm going to get more into Libya uh, in a moment, but first I wanted to get into double speak, double think. In 2005, uh, a member of the New Freedom Federal Board, New Freedom Initiative Board, that's an Orwellian name, uh, broke their silence and released internal documents that the big pharma industry had financed the Bush administration to try to push a federal initiative to forcibly psychologically test all school children every year in every grade and then give them psychological uh, uh, illnesses uh, so that later in life they can't own firearms. But also it, it was estimated that they would then convert in the next decade uh, from roughly 12 percent of school children listed as mentally ill to 50 percent in the next phase and then upwards of 100 percent after that. And World Net Daily, Associated Press, World Net Daily actually broke it, but Associated Press did pick up on it. Uh, what was it back in 2005 or was it, you know, it was 2005. Uh, and uh, in there they called it the New Freedom Initiative, the new freedom to be forcibly drugged. Uh, and uh, you're saying, what does that have to do with Libya? Well, they call it New Freedom. They call the Patriot Act the Patriot Act when it's the opposite of being a patriot and supporting the Bill of Rights and Constitution Declaration of Independence that makes America special and, 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 and such liberty that we've enjoyed, that we uh, began the engine of total success and the example of liberty worldwide. Uh, there's another big Orwellian example here today. White House says Libya fight is not a war, uh, following what the French president has said. It's a kinetic military action. So bombing... Government buildings, uh, bombing power plants, uh, bombing airfields, bombing airports, uh, bombing um, bus terminals, uh, bombing infrastructure, uh, hundreds and hundreds of cruise missiles, uh, bombs dropping every hour on the hour. Uh, that is not a war. Okay, that is a kinetic military action. It was kind of like in Vietnam, the, 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 they didn't like the uh, seek and kill teams. Um, so they started naming it Seek and Destroy, and uh, then they didn't like that, so they changed it uh, to uh, Seek and uh, Expunge or Seek and Remove. Uh, and, of course, uh, the, when SWAT teams were first set up by the CIA as a model to federalize and militarize police under Daryl Gates in L.A., I saw him in a uh, SWAT team documentary. He admitted they were special weapons attack teams. But the uh, politically correct said, no, no, let's call it special weapons and tactics. Uh, so just another example of that. Uh, and now in a briefing on board Air Force One last night, Deputy National Security Advisor Ben Rhodes uh, took a crack at the answer. I think we are all doing is enforcing a resolution that has very clear set goals. Of course, it doesn't. Ever, NATO's even pointing out there's not clear set goals, which is protecting the Libyan people, averting a humanitarian crisis, and setting up a no-fly zone, Rhodes said. Obviously, that involves kinetic military action, particularly uh, on the front end. And since then, the Pentagon is now calling this a kinetic military uh, action. Uh, Slate also reports on the birth of a Washington word, and that is now um, the kinetic military uh, action. Now, I don't know if I believe this new poll that's out, uh, because I've seen other polls that show over 70 percent against the Iraq war, now in its uh, eighth year, against uh, the Afghan war now in its ninth year and the Pakistan war that's ongoing uh, that's undeclared uh, and, and and don't forget uh, Congress wasn't even consulted and Congress likes it Congress except for Ron Paul a Republican and a few Democrats they love it they go this is great the UN says jump and the US says how high completely unconstitutional it's total treason many constitutional experts are out there calling it treason uh, and then it's just an amazing precedent uh, but they've got this new poll out, Reuters reports, in U.S. polls, 60 percent back Libyan military action. Well, if 60 percent agreed that they could roast children on the White House lawn uh, or that if 60 percent said they could take the other 40 percent's money and redistribute it, could you do that? No, not in a republic with laws, with rule of law. See, a pure democracy, 51 uh, percent could vote to kill the other 49 or to make you wear blue hats. Or make you dress up like an Easter bunny. Or to take your property. 
or to raise taxes on you. I mean, the sky's the limit. Uh, but 60% uh, of Americans support the U.S. and allied military action in Libya to impose a no-fly zone to protect uh, civilians from forces loyal to Muammar Gaddafi. A Reuters uh, poll released today found of those polled, 48% described President Barack Obama's military leadership as U.S. Commander-in-Chief as cautious and consultative. Oh, yeah. Do you, uh, again, that's the weird little way they spun the poll. 36% said uh, that it was indecisive and dithering. No, it's slithering is what it is. And 17% as strong and decisive in a uh, question that offered only those three choices. So, see, there is no choice. There you have it where you could say that you didn't want the war. It's either how do you think he's handling it? So they're not debating, should we have this war, or is it even a war? They, they just said, you know, do you think it's indecisive and dithering, cautious and consultive, or strong and decisive? <clears throat> so all three of those, this is such a fraud. This, this should be a university textbook example of a push poll, of a fraudulent poll, where you don't ever give them any other opportunity. You give them false choices. Unbelievable. Unbelievable to have that type of deceptive poll. But see, now they can just run the headline that 60% back Libyan military action. They can just throw it out there and say 60% support it. Extreme deception uh, out of that uh, group of creatures. Uh, continuing... Uh, here with the news before I get back into Libya. There's the larger question <clears throat> that right after Obama got in office, he was given the Nobel Peace Prize. In fact, guys, pull up when he was given that uh, because I, memory serves, I think he was given it when he was president-elect. He hadn't even gotten in office, but let's see if my memory's correct. He got in in... Um, he got into office in, in January of 2009... Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, you know, they secretly voted on it six months before. That was, I mean, I, rem I but, but, but just pull up the Wikipedia on it or, or, or an AP article or something on it because I want to be absolutely, in fact, we'll have the answer when we come back. But the point is, he got it before, yeah, but the date, I know it was 2009. So it was announced on October 9th. So uh, he'd been in office a while, but then it turned out they'd given it to him when he was president-elect. That's... So a uh, memory does serve. So they'd already decided to give it to him, and then he got it a few months after being in office. And uh, has he engaged in peace since then? Well, there's a move to strip him of it. But, I mean, if you give it to Henry Kissinger, a huge warmonger, why not? Why not give it to Hitler posthumously? I mean, come on. Why stop there? We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over five years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System today, complete with two black Berkey elements for only $220. And the Berkey Guy will include three sport Berkey water bottles and ship everything to you free of charge. That's right, three sport Berkey water bottles and free shipping. An $87 value, yours free. Call the Berkey Guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com com today they help to create a new world order we are part of a new world order a new world order based upon collective action invisible empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents the new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities it means all the world under their control the united nations would take over america the Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, 
that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Do you want to learn more about preparing for the hard times ahead? Have you ever thought about actually getting off the grid and becoming truly self-reliant? Introducing Off the Grid News, a weekly newsletter for independent Americans who want practical advice on how to survive and even prosper in an increasingly dangerous world. It's the best way to get a black belt in emergency preparedness, survival skills, and off-the-grid living. Packed with hard-hitting information on gardening, food preparation, alternative energy, and home security, there's simply nothing like it. And the best part, this $100 annual subscription is now free of charge. Simply sign up today and you'll also get our hard-hitting report, Food Shock, why 2011 could be the single most important year in American history to plant a family garden. It's absolutely free for listeners who sign up at offthegridnews.net. That's offthegridnews.net. Get your free Food Shock right now at offthegridnews.net. president has demanded, as you know, several days ago that Obama return his Nobel Peace Prize. He's intensified the wars in Afghanistan, Pakistan, lied, and simply renamed combat brigades in Iraq as combat support brigades. War is now kinetic action, kinetic military action. You're just not allowed to call it a war. And uh, continuing... So Evo Morales, the Bolivian president, is demanding that Obama give back his Nobel Peace Prize. He claims that the Libyan attack is so horrible, our president no longer deserves the prize. Snorts Morales. How is it possible that a Nobel Peace Prize winner lands, leads a gang to attack and invade? This is not a defense of human rights or self-determination. And he demanded that uh, he uh, hand back the Nobel Peace Prize, and Obama responded uh, in Politico, Obama is keeping his peace prize. President Obama defended his Nobel Peace Prize, saying that Americans don't see any contradiction. He speaks for all of us. See, it's all lies. It's all 1984 Orwell speak out of the Ministry of Truth. War is peace, freedom is slavery. President Obama defended his Nobel Peace Prize, saying that Americans, quote, don't see any contradiction. We don't. He, I guess I don't see any contradiction, or you don't, because Obama said so. Okay. In him ordering an attack on Libya to make sure, quote, people aren't butchered because a dictator wants to cling to power. And now with riots and burning and, and shootings uh, in Syria, there's talk about humanitarian bombing. The globalists to go in, stir up people. Uh, to resist uh, these countries that I certainly don't want to live in, but the point is, is that they're globalist enemies. But then Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, uh, and other Arab countries that are globalist uh, minions, when they shoot people down on video, confirmed. Much of the Libya stuff's turned out to be lies. I have no doubt he's not engaged in all sorts of butchering. So are the rebels. Uh, then, uh, oh, I'm afraid there won't be any attack. I'm afraid that... These are our allies uh, all over uh, Yemen and uh, the rest of the Middle East. Uh, so you heard it. Uh, he, he says Americans don't see any contradiction. All of us support what he is doing.